today I'm interviewing Kathy, whom I've been told was the only sober person at Woodstock. <laughs> so Kathy, tell me about how you ended up going to Woodstock. How old were you and what made you want to go? So I was 19. I had just finished my freshman year of college and I was working um, in Woods Hole, Massachusetts um, for a family. And one of my friends that I'd met at Woods Hole um, was invited by the um, person who was producing the film or going to film it to come and be a film runner and work for him. He had known her because he had made a film about Outward Bound that she had been in. And so she asked me if I wanted to go. We found a couple of other people, drove in this old convertible out from Woods Hole, Massachusetts to the Catskills and um, abandoned the car somewhere on the side of the road when the crowd proved to be impossible. So a lot of people are comparing the modern day social justice movement to the 60s and the 70s. And some people are saying, where's our Woodstock? Um, do you think that we made any progress since then? How are things different? So I think, I, I think I'm frustrated by our lack of progress. Um, I, I wish I could, I wish I could say that, you know, John Lewis left a legacy that didn't resolve us having to do any more work. And that's just not the case. Um, you know, one of the things that struck me uh, between the difference between now and then is the generational divide that existed then. I mean, Woodstock was really young people. The producers were all in their twenties. Um, I felt like there was a, a we versus them in terms of the, of the generations. I don't think that's what's going on now. I think there's a lot more alignment across the generations whether it's with my children, my grandchildren. Um, and we agree on what needs to be addressed. Um, and I always agree exactly on how, but certainly agree on what needs to be addressed. So I'm hopeful um, that we will make a difference this time, partly because maybe we are more aligned and, and there's more power in us being um, in sync rather than in opposition. Yeah, so, well, that's yeah. a good note to end on. Thank you so much for your time, Kathy. And this is Rachel signing off on Jellygish TV.